hello guys so welcome to KO tutorials so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have started with the stage designing over here so let's just take a reference over here for that particular stage design so now what we are going to create over here is we are going to create this support for this lights over here so let's just take a box over here so let's just take a box and let's just drag it up over here after taking this box over here so right click convert to editable poly so after converting to editable poly so if you want what I can do over here is like I can just give the segments before converting to editable poly if it is not required you don't convert it now we have a modifier over here that's called a lattice modifier so we'll be using a lattice modifier over here into this lattice modifier let's go into this and reduce the struts over here a bit go down and reduce the radius uh, of this joints and also we have an option called end caps and ignore hidden edges let's go into this box over here increase the height segments and reduce this segments that's a we'll reduce the length and width segments and increase the height segments so after doing this we'll go over here let's just duplicate this over here after duplicating this we'll just rotate it in 90 degree shift and rotate and make a copy of it so let's just push it up over here drag it here and reduce its height and reduce its height segments over here so once you're done with this so definitely will be again taking one more uh, duplicate of it so this duplicate will pass through this let's just push it up and go into this box increase its height over here just drag it up in this way so if you think that the height of this is very very high so what I can do over here is like I can just come into this I can go down and I can just reduce the height of it so that would be much better if you just uh, reduce the height of this and just make a duplicate over here so we can just select this and just drag this down in this way also uh, we can just push it over here increase its height for this box a bit not much a bit so just push this till here and duplicate it over here so definitely uh, that part is not going to be visible over here because that would be in this kind of this view over here so we'll be definitely changing the view over here or it's going to go away from that particular view in this way that's it after that just save your file over here so now we are going to create this stuff over here like this so for that let's go into this and let's just take a box over here let's just take a box over here after taking a box over here reduce its height over here so reduce the segments convert to editable poly go into the 
polygons and just extrude it up over here and let's just scale a bit in this way so after you have scaled this stuff over here so now you can just use a line tool also so you can just use a line tool like this so before using a line tool let's take a line tool over here in this way select the vertices of this line tool over here and we are using a fillet over here so let's use a not fillet I'm sorry we'll be using a chamfer over here in this way so let's just use a chamfer over here so after using a chamfer let's go into rendering enable in viewport make it rectangular increase its width over here in this way so right click convert to editable poly select the vertices and just drag it down in this way so once you are done with this you can just push it over here in this way and if you we can just keep it straight for now over here how it looks from the front okay I think it's a copy of all of this so for the light setup so let's again take a cylinder over here let's just go over here and let's just take a cylinder over here just drag it till here push it up over here increase its radius increase its so don't give much height segments but we can just reduce its this stuff increase its height a bit like this so convert to editable poly over here so let's right click and use a cut option over here we can just use a cut option over here so select this and let's click on insert and let's just bevel it so just drag it inside a bit okay not much so so let's again go to the top over here and if you want to squeeze a bit you can do that that is also possible and you can just rotate it press 4 over here and let's just give a bevel over here so we can use a bit of bevel click ok again use a bevel push it a bit inside and click ok that's it so we can just select this and just give a normal color to it and let's just uh, duplicate this whole stuff over here on this side that's it so once you're done with this so now we'll be just duplicating this whole thing on this side so select this let's just make a copy of it and select this just group it click ok 
duplicate it, mirror it in Z axis. So just push this up. You can just push this up over here. So what would be a rendering angle will just take that angle particular angle now uh, we'll just drag it in this way duplicate it just duplicate it in this way after that we can just select this and this mirror it copy it in y axis and just drag it over here in this way so once you are done with this you can just drag it till here make sure you are just pushing it a bit at the center all right so save your file again so make sure you keep on saving the files at regular intervals okay so we also have uh, such kind of lights if you want to show we can show that so for that we'll be just taking again a cylinder over here so reduce the radius of the cylinder and let's rotate it push it up convert to editable poly select this polygons and let's just give a bit of inset let's give bevel and click ok so once you're done uh, I can just go into this let's use a swift loop over here select the polygons so before we go with that we'll just try to place one loop over here so select this polygons and just extrude it up click ok just drag it up So now we can go over here in this way. We can just reduce the size of it, make sure you're not making it much bigger. We can slightly rotate it in this way, much better. So although it's just we are going to showcase it so just push it more down and let's just make few copies of it so once you're done with this you can just select this all and let's duplicate it copy it in x axis and just drag it over here in this way that's it so once you're done with this we can just take one perfect angle so from where you're going to show showcase this all so just select this all save your files over here that's it 
So guys, if you have any doubts, please write it in the comment section. So as you can see, we have done with the modeling part of this. So this is not going to come in the camera. So I'm not creating this part. So thanks for watching this tutorial.